Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm in, well you probably don't know what this is because this is a new website that I'm currently working on. I'm actually going to publish it at the end of the video uh, and leave a link to it in the description so that you guys can go to it and check it out and all that wonderful things. Uh, you know, all the, all those wonderful things, you know. Uh, this is basically a, a quote unquote hub for all things Ponytown. Uh, this is a fan made website meant to bring all the Ponytown custom servers in one place. Uh, you can click or tap any of them to go to that custom server. So if if I scroll down, I can go to Ponytown, go to Durgan Town, Ashes Town, Bits Town, Ponytown. Uh, this actually needs to be swapped. <laughs> this needs to be over here. I'll fix that in a second. Um, this and this need to be swapped as well, because so, that's I, I wanted it to be like here, 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 here. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, uh, there's all kinds of custom servers on here. Some of them you probably never heard of, such as Champions of Equestria and Luminous Kingdom. Each and every single one of them get a small little description of them, or not, not necessarily a description of what that creator or whatever would have made. It's just something that I kind of think uh, describes it in somewhat good of a way. So, for example, Ashes Town, uh, a fan of Fallout Equestria, you have to check out this custom server featuring the perfect Fallout theme while staying true to Ponytown. Roleplay with weapons that you can pick up and a secret vault hidden in the mines. Uh, all of this kind of, I, I try to tell you as much about the server as I can within a couple sentences. Um, Durgantown, for example, the most extensive character editor of any custom servers. Durgantown has a collectible currency that allows you to buy costumes. This in-game currency is not comparable with microtransactions as they are free and easy to acquire. Thousands play every day. Now, I think, I feel like thousands play every day is a little bit of an exaggeration, but Tons of people play Durgantown just as much as Ponytown. That's why Durgantown is at the very top of this list of Ponytown custom servers. But as you can see, there's everything. Sleep, uh, Sleepy Town, Champions of Equestria, even Pixel Horse. Pixel Horse is a very odd one. Um, there's never anyone there, so I just was just like, hey, if you want Solitude, check this out, uh, basically. Uh, now, some of them uh, are kind of new. Some of them are old. I, I, I don't know how new these two are, but uh, Luminous Kingdom, it's missing the mines, for example. Um, so so when you go there, the mines are completely missing. They're like blocked off um, just how they were originally. So they're, they're boarded up and everything. You can't go to the mines on this one. So it seems like this one's kind of old that hasn't had a lot of work put into it yet. But uh, I'm hoping that both of them get some a lot of work in them soon. But they are a custom server. They do offer something tiny bit different than the other custom servers. So I figured I'd go ahead and mention these two uh, because why not? We'll go ahead and add all of them. There's also other places. Now other places is a tab for you to go to uh, other places. So if you want to go to Ponytown Amino or the Ponytown subreddit, um, these, is, or, uh, these are basically a quick way to go to that. If there's any other place that you can go to to kind of commune with other Ponytown fans or or something like that let me know and it will be added to the website um on in this tab here as well if you have any kind of custom servers that is not on this website go ahead and let me know you can contact me any way you want uh and i'll try my best to get it added on there and everything like that um there's also a, a tab called board now this one um i'm currently on vacation but as of recording this i'm it's like the day before my vacation starts so i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna publish this early um but i'm going to put in a text form of some of these things that are in these videos uh, but for the time being, if you're bored in Ponytown, you can go to this website, go to board, uh, and go here, or you can just stay on my channel and watch these exact same videos. Um, but this is going to be a tab, basically, for you to have a list of things that you can do in Ponytown uh, that you can do if you're ever bored. Uh, stuff like uh, go collect uh, clovers, go uh, build your house, build a pony, you know, customize a pony or whatever, uh, play different kinds of games using your party house or something else, um, and stuff like that. That's kind of what these two videos are. You can watch them um you can go through the, the trouble of going to the website to watch it or you can just stay on my channel and watch it there but yeah this is uh basically everything here for this there's also a contact uh, tab that basically if you have a ponytown custom server if you have something you'd like to see added you can contact me at my email uh or any of the social media media is listed below now i do prefer being contacted via the, the social medias because i check those a lot uh, i don't really check my email too much um i get notified when i get emails but sometimes it doesn't doesn't always work um, it's always kind of a hassle to go through the trouble of like going through all of my email to just reply to something or see something uh, so Twitter YouTube uh, Instagram these are the best places to reach me um, and if you're feeling generous you can donate to me uh, the website's creator uh, just by hitting the donate tab now um, something that I want to point out um, here uh, at the bottom of every single page, there is this message here that says the creator is a Ponytown and its respective custom servers, such as during a town, do not have any association with this website, nor do they condone anything written here. Uh, so basically, um, 
N no one asked me to do this. N no, none of the Ponytown Custom Server creators went out to me and was like, hey, put this on the website and say this. No one uh, reached out to me and was like, hey, um, put this, make a website or hey, um, say this about the website. Um, hey, put this on there or something like that. You know, no, n no one told me what to say or what to do. No one asked for this. It's just something that I thought could be very helpful. I originally was going to try and make an app that did all of this, but the I can't really do an app because I, I, I just can't. <laughs> um, but I can build a website, and that's exactly what I've done here. Uh, now, I do hope that you enjoyed everything. I'm going to uh, actually change this real quick because this is kind of backwards. But as you can see, all of this is together. It's all it's all well put. It, it actually totally functions. If I want to go to Bitstown, I can just press Bitstown right there, and it brings me right to Bitstown. It loads right up. Um, if I go, if I go back over here, if I actually go to Ponytown, uh, actually, if I go to, I think I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm signed into. I might still be signed into Luminous Kingdom. Um, if I click on Luminous Kingdom. Okay, so as you can see, if you're already signed in on that website, if you're already signed in on Luminous Kingdom, if you're already signed on Bitstown or whatever custom server that you happen to have, if you're already signed in on that website, it will keep you signed in as long as you haven't cleared your history or as long as there hasn't been some kind of update to that server that uh, makes you have to sign in all over again. Because if you don't know, Ponytown, it, Ponytown itself, uh, every once in a while, you it just it updates, and when it does that, you usually have to sign in all over again, but not always. Or sometimes, maybe if you haven't played long enough, it just signs you out automatically, and you have to sign back in when you come back to it. So there's there's a couple things like that. But uh, overall, if you've been to that if you've been to that custom server before, you will be right back on there. You will be signed in. It's very quick. Um, I the way I recommend using this website is basically. Just make a tab. Just create a tab. Save it to your like on your home page or something like that. Just make a tab. S save a quick way to get to this website. That way, whenever you want, if you want to go to Durgan Town, Ashes Town, Bits Town, Pony Town, Sleepy Town, um, Champions of Equestria, Luminous Kingdom, Pits of Horse, or any other custom server that may be added in the future, it's very very quick. It's all in one place. You don't have to save every single one of these websites as a different tab. It's very convenient. I really hope that um, you use this website in, in a very good way. I hope you guys just enjoy it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, this explanation, everything like that, uh, please do like, subscribe, share, do those wonderful things. Because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. But that's not all you get. That's not all you get. You also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful. I said I was going to publish it on screen, on, on screen, so I'm actually just going to hit this publish button over here uh, and publish it right now. And uh, it's published now. Um, <laughs> I, I can I can actually get the domain if I have money, so please donate. <laughs> um, but the, the, the website itself is a really long, strange link. Uh, I will put it in the description so it's easy to find, but again, I would recommend bookmarking it or something. But yeah, this website's available now. So actually, if I go over here and just type in... Um, uh, Ponytown fan site. It should load up. Okay, for some reason the search thing isn't working. I don't know why. So uh, I'm just going to paste the link uh, and then paste it. And it will take me there if I paste it and then hit enter. And do, 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 do. there it is. It brings me right to it. Um, as you can see, there's no like uh, back to editor mode or anything like that. In fact, there's actually a UI missing right here for some reason. Oh, it's still loading. That's why. <laughs> I was like, oh no, my website broke. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's no like back to editor or anything like this because this is this is officially on on Google. It's officially on uh, the internet. You can officially go to this, do whatever you want with it. Um, I do hope that you enjoy it. And if you if you if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed this, um, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing those wonderful things. Because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. But that's not all you get. That's not all you get. You also get to become wonderful for yourself, and I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.